Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 11.15 in Honolulu, 5.15 in New York. It is Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the first day of February 2019 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review on what a week we have seen in this marketplace. We have had solid gains throughout the week, although we did end on a weak note. I believe gold held up extremely resilient considering the jobs report that came out so strong. Gold basis most active April contract is at 1322.60 down $2.60. Of course, we are long from 1307. We did send out a special trade alert to move our stop up today. We'll discuss that in detail as we pull up our technical studies. Silver lost about 15 cents. More importantly, below that psychological $16 an ounce level, currently fixed at $15.92. Now, we did have gains in platinum and palladium. Platinum gaining about $2.40 at $8.27, and palladium moving again $18 to the upside at $1,318 per ounce. We had a nice move in the U.S. equities coming into the close. They were trading mostly lower, but the composite, which was trading down almost three quarters of a percent, only closed down by a quarter of a percent, $72.64. S&P 500, nominal change on that. This is the E-mini at uh, 2704. And lastly, the Dow Industrial, which was in essence unchanged, did close up, close up by 64 points. And lastly, an unchanged dollar at 9530. So traders, we did see gold have a substantially nice week. In fact, over the last two trading weeks, we have seen substantial gains in the market. Considering that two weeks ago, gold opened at roughly $1,280 and this week traded to a high well above $1,326, we have seen approximately a $40 plus dollar move in the market. Now, we are along this market. We entered a trade at 1307 and this morning I did send out a special trade alert to trail our stops up to 1317 13 so in other words as long as this market remains steady we can ride this if we see some more strength in the market but there have been some signs of potential weakness that we really can't see unless we look at our daily chart and so traders we are looking at a daily chart of April gold what we can see is that over the last couple of trading days we have had some really interesting candle formations first we had this doji candle in extreme high but it opened and closed at the same point we then had another doji but interestingly enough this doji had a higher high and a higher low than the previous doji and that is quite unusual then today of course we had this slight down day now coupled with the fact that this is coming in at a price point in which it is hit the 0.78 percent retracement level of 1326 that's this area right here it tells me that we could see some weakening but what interests me the most, and I'm really going to have to blow this up for you to see, but what interests me the most about this formation is the fact that it is very, very rare to see two dojis in a row as a market is moving up and have higher highs and higher lows than the previous dojis. In other words, typically, if it's indicating some sort of a top formation, you will get it either equal highs and lows and equal opens and closes, but you typically won't get a higher level. Secondly, the fact that what we saw was a decline today, and I think that this decline was actually a remarkable decline because we had such a strong number in terms of the jobs report, but nonetheless, we did close below this level, and I believe this to be an important level, 1326, and that's the reason we really tightened our stop up. We've locked in some decent profits on the trade. If the market wants to track higher as we go into next week, of course, we'll still be in it. If the market comes down and stops us out, it will do so 
in a profit. And I'm happy with that. So traders, my recommendation is obviously to maintain your current long position in gold at 1307 and to maintain your current stop level $10 above that price point. So traders, although we did see some nice action in the precious metals across the board, we really saw silver take off and take off in almost a parabolic manner when you consider that it was trading down at around 1530 in that area at the beginning of the week, the end of last week, traded to these highs just shy of 1620 and now close below 16. What I am seeing is as follows. I am seeing a variation of a fairly common pattern, but it is a pattern that can indicate a top. It's a three candlestick pattern on our daily chart. And the variation that we are looking at here is a three river evening star. Of course, if we got confirmation, that would simply mean that the following day, meaning Monday's trading activity would be a red candle with a lower low and a lower high. That would actually be a sell signal. The interesting thing about silver, it was lackluster, but it did break above the 200 day moving average. But when we look at the way the inversion of these averages, we still have the 200 day on top and we did get our cross between the 50 and 100. So we have the 50 in the middle and the 100 at the bottom. It is certainly not showing us an overall bullish tendency. So I am much less positive in terms of what we'll see next week about silver than I am about gold. Traders, absolutely no doubt. We had a considerable week in terms of gains in gold. In fact, gains for the last two weeks amounting to about $40. At the same time, we've got a good profitable trade in place and our stops locking in that profit. I do expect a little bit of weakness coming in at the beginning of the week, but we'll have to see what happens over the weekend. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.